So, welcome to Racers Roundtable here on PAPossyRacing.com. Today, I have Aaron Ott, Cal Pruitt, Pat Cooper, and Todd Zinn here to dis discuss different things in the uh, racing area pertaining to track safety, uh, tire rolls, and just how their seasons went, and this, that, and the other. Um, so guys, first question is, uh, how did how do you guys feel your uh, year went? Well, basically, um, we had a long year, really long, just a lot of bad things happening, a lot of bad luck, but um, we're just hoping that, you know, every winter we're just going to regroup and come back and see if we can get, get in victory lane a little bit more for next year. And uh, hopefully, um, you know, you know, just be able to travel a little bit more now that I'm about ready to graduate and, uh, you know, basically just work off our errors off this year, you know, and uh, get faster for next year. Kyle? Um, basically, our, our year went okay. Got a couple wins in the 305 car and then uh, 358. We did okay. We struggled with some motor issues. Uh, now we have the opportunity to do some 410 racing. So. Um, hopefully we can just build, learn a little bit more, uh, gain some more experience and uh, get better next year and continue to learn. Pat? Um, started off okay through the early part of the season and uh, struggled through the middle part with uh, some chassis issues we were trying to work through and um, didn't fare up so good uh, at the end of the year. Uh, blew up uh, our second engine right at the last uh, race at Hagerstown there, so try and put everything back together and see what we can do for next year. Todd? Well, we built a new motor during the off season, so we only ran 10 times this year, but it held up good, so we continue to grow and improve, hopefully get more seat time on a consistent basis. That would be a tremendous help. Um, what do you all think you could have done better this year to help now? Aaron, you won two races in the same night at the Grove, so I don't see how you could get much better than something like that. But for Kyle, Pat, Todd, well, even you, you said just more seat time and to get better. What could what could you do to improve upon what you did? Um, there's really not much we – I mean, you know, most people are happy with two wins. I'm a little bit of a harder driver on myself. I'd like to say I won five or six or seven a year. You know what I mean? I'm not – the, you know, I mean, I think that's the best way to win a race, you know, or win two races, I guess, you know, win both in the same night if I had to pick out. But, you know, I mean, it's, winning's more fun than anything else. You know, the championships aren't as much fun, and, um, you know, and they don't even pay as much as uh, a win does. So, you know, um, I, I just like to come back next year and just be stronger. Um, you know, graduating, I will be able to go to, you know, Charlotte, and hopefully, depending on how the year goes, you know what I mean, but, uh, we might go to other tracks like Knoxville and try out some other things, but I don't think we're going to be going anywhere in Florida yet, you know, because I have the Chili Bowl and I'm still in school, so it's going to be hard to get out and do things. But really, you just got to race a lot more, and it's and you know, with them changing a bunch of rules for next year, it's going to be very hard for them to, you know, a lot of racers to get out and get to race more. Oh. Um, I think we could have done a better job maybe paying attention to details at the racetrack with the setups and just keeping up with the track and uh, you know as a driver you're always constantly trying to hone your skills and learn things and I think uh, with the seat time and possibly racing more uh, that'll help that area but just kind of make it more uh, you know it's detail oriented uh, I would say would make us better with the uh, on track stuff not not the shop just at the tracks so I think it would make us better. Mr. Cooper? Uh, I think we're kind of in the same boat as Kyle there. Just need to work on uh, you know, stuff at the track, um, you know, chassis setups and whatnot, and try and get uh, our heads together and, and uh, uh, try to be a little more decisive in what, what we're trying to do with uh, feature setups and whatnot. Um, how much do running Ford engines versus the normal Don Ots and such. How much of a difference does that, does that hurt you more because you can't go get help from other people? The smoke makes it harder for all the cars behind <laughs> the seat. <laughs> I mean, Todd, if he has an engine issue, he can go see Don. Yeah. Kyle has something, he can go talk to Todd or Aaron. 
or as you just run you're the only one around with a ford does that hurt more oh definitely i mean i mean we basically have to do our own r d work because we don't have anybody else to rely on for that i mean a lot of the things are similar to you know what the chevrolets and you know the mopars use but uh, um, you know there's a, a lot of it that is you know unique to us um, as far as chassis setup uh, and we're a lot closer to running like a 358 because we have a whole lot more weight up you know in front of the driver than, than what everybody else has got so it, it it's definitely a, a steeper learning curve trying to figure out what the car wants Todd how to what do you feel you could do to improve after 10 races this season frankly the the biggest thing i need is the ability to race more often on a more consistent basis in the past two years i've raced 15 times that's a, a long time with a real slow learning curve somebody that plays basketball that can go out and play every single day is going to get better way quicker than somebody that goes out and shoots baskets once or twice a month and racing is the exact same thing I may race two, three weeks in a row, start to get a lot better, then I have to sit for three or four weeks, and that you lose a little bit of that, and then you have to kind of work your way back up. It's a very slow, shallow learning curve. And see, see time comes with having the money and the resources to be able to, to do that more frequently. So that, that's the big struggle is just trying to get seat time so that maybe I can someday reach the potential I think I could possibly have. Um. What if if you could go back to one race this year, two, three races, and say if I'd have just done that different, what what thing would you have changed this year to possibly help you win another race with Aaron or just get that move up a little bit, get that top ten or what would you have done differently? I'd love to go back to the qualifying night at Charlotte. Uh, the track wasn't anything what I ex what I expected at all. And even talking to some more experienced drivers from around here, they said that track's a lot different than a lot of the tracks you see around here as far as setup sort of things. And by the third night, um, I got Ed Lynch helped me out a lot, and the car was way better. But because he had to qualify that first night, and we were so far out to lunch setup-wise, it just killed you for the whole weekend. It'd be nice to, be able to go back to that and see if I could have had a better starting spot or gotten into some of the other, you know, more higher profile type races what might have you know what could have maybe done because la the last night I was definitely fast enough I think to do a little bit more that uh I'd have to say the uh, uh the uh fifth place finish we had back earlier in the year that was uh probably our our best run and we we didn't really take what we learned from that night and, and apply it to the rest of the season, and I, I think that kind of hurt us there. So and just need to you know take what we learn and and, and apply it more. Um, that's what we need to try and work on for next year. Cock. Well, I think the only thing I would have done differently is like I said just maybe be more detail oriented but not put so much emphasis on changing things keep it simple because there were some times where we changed things and it was the wrong direction or you went too far or not far enough and it seems the more I learn the more simple we need to keep it and uh, more consistent so I think just kind of simplifying everything but paying attention to details and like Pat said learning from night to night writing the stuff down as uh, probably something I would do different. Aaron? Um, probably at the beginning of the year. Um, we s Just a big struggle. Um, more of driver error than anything. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to believe that your confidence drives these cars more than anything. And uh, I, I didn't have confidence in anything. I didn't have confidence in the car, myself, anything. And uh, it really killed me, and it really showed in time trials and stuff. And uh, just, you know, it's just, it was a long battle, but I think, you know, once we started racing more in the speed weeks, we started to come out of that phase and started getting into our, our regular weekly thing, and I ruined really half the season just on my confidence, but.